How you doing, people? Uh, I guess this one will just be a short one on knots or whatever. If you notice my, uh, I'm trying to zoom out, but I can't really get that far. I'm going to move this back a little bit. Um, I was out riding around on the uh, motorcycle here, and for some reason I was goofing around with jerk. I did a couple of turns, and my back tire went flat. So, what I've done here is I've just used some knots and a D ring and that webbing that I was talking about and some other things and this is just other good uses for this webbing this webbing like I said a whole thousand, two thousand depending on how strong it is when you get it I got a bowling knot here uh, I've got a, a, a butterfly knot here which I show and then on the back I have a, another butterfly knot and then it's a uh, and since the tire's flat and it's trying to ride a, 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 a car up a, a, a back seat of a car or a ramp it uh, it can get kind of, you know, squirrely if you're out here by yourself, fall over if I misjudge a ramp. So I usually just tie this thing up, raise it up with the, with the winch to the top there, and uh, then I just back my car in here, and then I lower it on my car. So to show you the, uh, the knots here, remember that little webbing I used to, uh, that's sewn? It's got that stitching right here, it's sewn. I've got a D-ring. Uh, got a butterfly knot right here. Um, so I, I just wrap that a, a, around this rear thing, D-ring, butterfly knot up at the top here. Um, where's my hook at? There it is. Um, so I just have another butterfly knot right there. And then I just went around a handlebar here with a bowling knot. So that's a bowling. It'll untie easy. And so will the butterflies. Uh, and like I said, I'll just, uh, that way I'll, I'll just back my car in here and uh, finish raising it up to where it's high enough to where I can just back my car in. car and I'll set it in there, I'll strap it down, get it straight, and then that way um, I don't have any chance of it falling off or uh, getting messed up. So and again, if I need to work on it or do something on it, I can do that too, but I'm going to take it in. I think uh, I need to get another tube. Uh, I tried to fill it up. It's not seated. I think it's got a tube in that tire. I don't know if it's flat, how old it is. You know, that's the problem when you get something, when I buy something used, uh, and something goes wrong, I usually just try and replace it. I don't try to repair it because I don't know how many times it's been repaired or what's going on. You know, I haven't ridden this thing in a while. Uh, I wanted to get it out, get some oil through it, get the bearings, everything working, and, and just kind of get out in the mud a little bit because it was it's kind of dried out enough to where I can get out there and kind of mud a little bit, but it's not solid ground. And uh, shit, got a couple miles from the house and was in uh, some off-roading, and next thing I know, my tire's flat. So, uh... I'm gonna make sure and get either another tube. Uh, I, I'm not gonna have them repair that tube because I want to know how old the tube is. That's the problem with tubeless tire or two tires. You don't know when they put a tube. You don't know how many times it's been patched. You don't know what happens. So, um, like I said, when I get something used, I like to replace it with something new that I, since I don't know the wear and tear on it. So anyway, I just want to show those knots, that webbing. You know, I told you I keep that that webbing. I can I can roll that webbing up in a very small area. It's very strong, has a lot of uses, and uh, this is just one of the uses, so I figured I'd share that. All right, hope that helps. Uh, I do all those knots on, I think, my horse channel on how to tie the butterfly, um, the bowling, uh, all my knots. Or, or maybe it's on this channel where I did, some, I did a couple of repelling videos on this channel, but I go over those knots on my horse channel for tying up horses. Since they pull and they're 1,200 pounds, they'll tighten up a knot, so you want to use the right knots. But I think I did a couple of repelling videos so if you search my channel for repelling, you'll see all these knots and I describe on how to do them. And I'm sure there's other things out there how they do them. All right, we'll end up there.